Many people fuss over changing motard wheels for the weekend when they want to change from dirt riding to some supermoto. Um, I unfortunately only have one set of wheels and two sets of tyres. So every time I want to change from supermoto to dirt, I've got to change the tyres. <laughs> so it's safe to say I've got pretty good at it now, but uh, let's put that to the test. Yeah, 11.08. So let's see how long it takes for me to change my tyres over. This is everything. Get the tools out, get the bike out and everything. And uh, I don't have a garage, damn it. There we go, an hour. That's not too bad, I don't reckon. Sort of just taking my time, trying not to drive myself insane. She's all ready for the dirt. So the little tricks I use is uh, I inflate the tube a little bit so that it doesn't get uh, pinch flats as easy. And as I'm putting the last bead on, I always look under to see whether the lever's got the tube or not. And I've had pretty good success doing it that way. Um, lots of lube. Um, the stand is not essential, but if you're going to do a lot of tie changes, why not? It makes it heaps easy and the bead breaker you can use to uh, get the tire off when all your levers are stuck in, sort of thing. And I'll say, don't buy these levers. These were like 30 bucks each from the local motorcycle dealer. And they've just got no leverage on them. They're useless. When you go from one of these to these, it's just like, they're useless. These I got from Torpedo 7, they're like eight dollars. <laughs> so I bought three. Um, four, I reckon is the right number, but um, yeah, they work so much better. Um, you can bend them though, so if it's like you're right on the end and you feel it flexing, uh, do something different, because uh, that's just gonna ruin your tire or bend your lever, because I've bent one. Um, the other thing is as well, those road tires, especially the rear, really hard to get on. You really have to sort of sort your technique and work your way around, figure it out. I've given up on rim protectors, especially with that rear tyre, that the extra clearance that they take up just makes it impossible to get on. So I've gone away with the rim protectors. Come to the realisation that their dirt bike rims, they're going to get totally scratched up in here. So it makes it a lot easier that way. <laughs> now I guess the last thing is uh, I always lube up uh, both beads of the tyres before I pump them up. Lube them up real good and then uh, pump them up to like 50, 60 psi if I need to and that beds them just perfectly. Otherwise uh, you have to bash it with a mallet. Just get it right. That's just easier that way. Yeah, if you've got supermoto rims, don't complain to me about changing them dirt rims to supermoto rims because that is easy. <laughs> I could do that in like 15 minutes. <laughs> anyway, see you around.